So when we study a certain site in hydrology and we want to um, figure out what the runoff conditions there are, um, we use something called the runoff curve numbers. And remember, the runoff curve numbers are dependent on three different things, soil groups, hydrologic conditions, and the antecedent moisture content. And in this video, we'll talk about uh, the soil groups, OK? And in hydrology, that's a colon. In hydrology, there are four different um, types of, or th there are four different groups we can classify these soils in. There's group A, there's group B, there's group C, and then finally there's group group D. Okay, group A soils um, consist of uh, deep sands, deep sands. Um, they'll have deep loess, deep loess. Um, and then they'll have some aggregated silts, okay? And generally, there there's usually more sand and gravel in, in group A than there are in the other groups. So we can assume that if, if, if there's about more than 90%, about 90% about or more um, sand and gravel, it's, it's safe to assume that it might be group A, okay? So more about more than 90% 90, 90 of sand and gravel, okay? And group A, um, since there's a lot of sands, a lot of gravels, uh, infiltration is uh, pretty good in group A. And that means there's low runoff when, when group A soils are wet, okay? Group B soils uh, consist of uh, shallow loess, um, sandy loams, and it's a group B still has um, a majority of sand and gravel, but not as much as group A. Okay, and group B um, has moderately uh, low runoff, so not as much as group A again, uh, but still there's enough runoff there um, for group B. For group C, um, group C has a lot of clay loams clay, uh, shallow sandy loams, and then soils with um, low organics, okay? And group C soils have uh, usually less than 50% sand, and they're moderate, they have moderate um, high runoff when wet, high, moderately high runoff when wet, okay? And then finally, group D, are soils that swell when wet, okay? And that means there's a lot of uh, plastic clays and a lot of uh, saline soils, saline soils, okay? And generally, Group D has a high runoff, high runoff, and um, there's usually about 40% about or more of clay. Okay, and so notice that group A has the least runoff. So, oops, that's my colors. Let's use blue. Uh, group A has uh, low runoff, the least amount of runoff, because infiltration is very, very good here. And then the further down you go in these groups, uh, you'll get um, higher and higher runoff. Okay. So these are soil groups, and these this is one thing the curve number is dependent on. Um, we'll go over the antecedent moisture content and uh, how to calculate the hydrologic conditions or the hydrologic conditions next. And uh, just one more thing before we leave: um, if we if we run into a problem where we're we're doing our hydrology homework and um, we don't know what the group what the group is. Um, we can safely assume that it's group C, or if you know the problem doesn't say uh, what type of group it is, uh, you can assume that it's a group C soil. Okay, and there is actually one more way of uh, figuring out what these groups are. Uh, one is you can use a texture triangle, or any of the other uh, ways to classify soils. Uh, the texture triangle is one we'll use in hydrology, and I'll actually do a quick little video on how to use the texture triangle if you're not familiar with it, okay? So, uh, 
If we don't know what the group uh, is in a problem, we can assume it's group C. Um, or if we know the different types of soils present, we can use the texture trying to triangle to figure out what uh, uh, the, the group is. All right, so see you later.